Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of unit testing with NUnit. In this episode, we are diving deeper into the world of unit testing with NUnit. We'll be crafting more unit tests for our existing function and we'll explore the ins and outs of debugging and running tests in our development environment. Before we jump into the process, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming tutorials on unit testing, c programming, and software development. Let's quickly revisit the function we have been working on in our previous episodes. This will set the stage for the additional test we are about to create. We need to expand our test coverage by creating more unit tests. We'll explore scenarios that might not have been covered in our initial tests. So here we have created a unit test in case that email is null, it should return false. We need to investigate uh, some other scenarios and find some others unit test for this function. Uh, here we uh, can add another unit test for the case that email is valid. Here uh, we can write like public void and the name of our unit test. So the name of our function is is valid email. Let's copy it, not write it from the scratch, and underline valid email. Our scenario is valid email, and then underscore returns true. So, in case uh, email is valid, it should return true. We need also add test attribute at the top of this method. So, the arrange part is similar to the previous one. We just copy and paste it here. So the next part is act. Uh, so the act is similar to the previous one, just with a little bit difference that in this case, uh, we need a valid email. You need a valid email here. For example, uh, user at sign gmail .com. and the last part is assert. It's same with a little bit difference that uh, this time it should return true is true. So uh, let's go to the solution explorer here and that's our new unit test that we have added. We can simply uh, right click on it and then select run. As you see our new unit test passes. Uh, we can add another one. So we need test first. So here in case of a null and white space, uh, 
this method should return false. So we can just copy part of the last unit test and this time our scenario is uh, white space email white space email then it should returns false so we will create act and arrange and answer parts same as before but just with a little bit difference that this time uh, the email should be a white space and the assert should return false then let's go back again to the solution explorer here we can see the new unit test that we added and click on it and run yeah it passes uh, we can add uh, another unit test here uh, like public void name our, our method uh, in our previous discussion we covered naming conventions if you haven't had a chance to review it I recommend taking a look to gain insight into naming convention practice for this part so the uh, here the name of the function comes first then the scenario in this case uh, our scenario is when email is empty then we can write like empty email and then the result return false so the steps is same as before we can just copy it uh, but in this case email is empty instead of the white space uh, we can set it to an empty string then you can write a string dot empty so after you have written a unit test the next thing is to check if it works or not a unit testing is crucial but it becomes even more powerful when we can efficiently run and debug our test to do that we have a few choices one way is to use the text explorer which is a building tools within visual studio or if you have resharper installed you can also run the test using that test explorer is accessible via view menu uh, and then simply just click on the test test explorer here you can see all of your unit test and you can run all of them just with uh, one click or you can run them one by one you can also debug them sometimes your unit test doesn't uh, run successfully and it doesn't pass so you need to debug it so I just need to change the email value to another value like user at gmail.com you can also run your unit test uh, simply by clicking on this icon here and then select run so as you can see it turns to the red color 
uh, means that it doesn't pass so in order to debug it and troubleshoot it you need to debug these unit tests so in order to do that you can simply place a breakpoint here and then click on this red icon and select debug you can also uh, do it using test explorer by going to the menu and click on the debug here let's debug it i'll create you can also see a details of the result how running this and here there are some more details that you can fix it i will select on debug it comes here then i can go ahead step by step so i press f10 and here we will execute uh, our method here so as you can see here the result is true and the reason is if you go inside our implementation of this method when the email has a valid format or I have a valid uh, value so it doesn't go within this if and it comes to this part and match to these rejects here and the result will be true so in this way we can uh, just trace and debug our unit test in case if it doesn't pass or if we need to debug it so i will return it to the previous value like a string dot empty and then run it again so it passes that concludes our exploration of debugging and running unit test in Visual Studio with Test Explorer. Remember, efficient testing leads to robust and reliable code. If you are enjoying our unit testing series, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated on future episodes. Till next time, happy coding!